This is Luke 8 and 17. And it reads, For there is nothing secret that should not be made manifest, neither anything hid that should not be made, that should not be known and come abroad. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem Awashai, Bahashem Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishop. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing his work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. And, you know, the, and I have to give, uh, you know, a shout out and, and thank the brother uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Zahar uh, Yahawada, the water brother. Um, this is, you know, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I was like overwhelmed almost to the point. Uh, I got emotional, you know, when I when these boxes came with all these books in it, and this and, and there's still more books, you know, that precious Bible I have from uh, from 1850 with the apocrypha in it, you know, that ginormous Bible. There's one book in here from 1803, and there's another one from 19, I mean, from 1833. So there's a lot of condemning information, and the brother put, especially you can see these Talmuds right here. Uh, and a brother wrote notes. It says, Shalom, Elder, we getting close to that second edition. That's that uh, a dictionary Bible, John D. Davis. So it makes me not even want to use the other one. And this one right here is the uh, second edition. Okay. Um, then let's look what else we got. We got this new dictionary Bible. You got another John uh, Davis dictionary Bible. That's 1986, though. So, But right here. 1833, Old and New Testament. Let me see if I can zoom in, Salakia. All right, connected history of the Jews, neighboring the, and the neighboring nations. It's even got a map in there, an ancient map in there of uh, of old uh, of Samaria and 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 uh, and Judea. Got an old apocrypha. Right, an American printed apocrypha. We got the uh, this book, the secret relationship between uh, blacks and Jews. All right, volume one, and this would probably be the first book that I go into. The view of the Hebrews of the tribes of Israel in America. All right, by Ethan Smith. All right, uh, and, and and it was printed in 1825. This is a reprint. All right. The Talmud Unmasked, and he's got some scriptures <laughs> with that one. Uh, what does the brother note say? It says, uh, expose them for what they did and hid from and hid within their books uh, infrastructure. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And yeah, and, and believe me, I do intend to get into it. Ezekiel 35 and 11, Ezekiel, uh, and I'm going to read all these scriptures in the notes that he left. All right, as a matter of fact, let's let's get some of those now. Let's uh Ezekiel 35 and And it's funny cuz I'm reading the book of Ezekiel right now. This is Ezekiel 35 and 11 and it reads, "Therefore as I live, saith the Lord power, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast used out of the hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them." When I have judged these, so yeah, it's everything that they've done is gonna come back on them with this uh, with this exposure, cause they're they're exposed, man. All right, in Ezekiel twenty five, Ezekiel twenty five and fourteen, I'm gonna start at twelve, and it reads, uh, "Thus saith the Lord, power, because that Edom." Because that Edom, you check that out. This is written in, in 2019, all right? Okay? But uh, it says, Because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged themselves 
upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from teeming. And there the dance shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. Because the future of mankind is, is slavery under the Israelites. All right. And, and that's just what it is. That is what's written and that is what's going to happen. The exposure and downfall, destruction of Esau, Edom, because all the nations are going into slavery, but they're going to get it the worst. And they're the only one that's promised no mercy. Just like it says in the Zonovan Dictionary Bible. All right. Because right here, talk. what was it talking about uh, in this book right here? It said uh, the, uh, the neighboring nations, the history of the, I'm going to say Judeans, the Israelites and the neighboring nations from the the clenching of the kingdom of Israel and Judah, because you can't call the kingdom of Israel Jews. All right. You, that was a that was a term. Judeans was a term that was used for the southern kingdom only. And I can't wait to dig into this Talmud. All right. OK. Got blacked out. Through whitewash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dear people of color. All right. The vital earth-shaking knowledge about people of colors, especially black people, that has been suppressed, hidden, banned, distorted, stolen, obscured, lied about, denied, outright destroyed. All right. But now it's coming to light as people of all colors in America and around the world awakening to the truth. Now hold on to your seat and I give you the highlights and details. So this is a spirit that's moving throughout the earth. All right. And if you are a so-called uh, white person, you should be afraid. You should be very nervous. All right. If you are actual Edomites, because everybody that's so-called white is an Edomite. All right. They, uh, you know, Esau got everybody caught up in this whole color thing. OK, which is, you know, color doesn't determine your nationality. Uh, the seed of your father does. OK, because you got to remember, man, millions of millions of uh, brown babies were born by, by uh, you know, lots of lots of Israelite women, so-called black women were raped doing slavery that that 400 plus year of slavery and so they had millions of babies that will look like so-called black people that are not something that you know the black only israelites don't like to talk about but there are a lot of tares among just as many tares among judah as it is among the northern kingdom all right so you know we're gonna know who the chosen is matter of fact let me grab a scripture on that these are uh books by uh charles wiseman here at the bottom all right. If you didn't know, if you want to wear Charles Wiseman is the man who wrote Who is Esau Edom. I didn't even know he wrote this many books. All right. And this guy is and, and you know, and, and, and Charles Wiseman is Jewish. All right. He is an Amalekite. OK, so we got the black coals of Georgia. It's a lot of evidence. OK, hey, that yokes of iron. These are some heavy, heavy things that we're looking at, man. I can't wait to uh, to dive into this. So, you know, as, as a matter of fact, I, I, I'm praying that everything goes down, that the Lord comes and, and messes this place up before I even get to all these books. But I'm definitely going to, you know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Abishai, this is the book that I'm going to start with. All right. View of the Hebrews and the tribes of Israel in America. Then I'll probably go to this Black Codes. All right. And, um, and maybe this one next to it is uncovering the mysteries of your hidden inheritance. All right. But uh, let's get a couple more of those scriptures that the brother had put. Uh, Exodus 17 and 16. Let's see what that one says. 17, 16. For he said, because Jehovah has sworn... That the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So yeah, those are all the ones that were attached to this Talmud book. <laughs> all right, these Talmudists. All right, and that one that's standing up next to it, that's a Talmud uh, uh, book too, of rules and regulations. Let's see if I can get close enough to see the name of it. 
The Secret of the Jew by, what does it say? Something Miller. Rabbi David Miller, okay. Uh, Rabbi David Miller. Okay, what was the next scripture that the brother had? Uh, oh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. Can I know that one? That's about Esau being exposed. Yeah, because I'm just wooed, man. Yep, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered um, his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. All right? So, you know, we're living in a time and age where Esau Edom is being, is being exposed, that the wicked is being exposed, so you know that we're, we're in the end. All right. And I would say probably about 95 percent of these books were written by Edomites themselves. All right. You know, this is that Psalm 64 and 8. This is their own tongue falling upon themselves. All right. Yeah. So let me grab uh, one more scripture because I said it. Let me just go and get it. Because uh, the future of the of the of the of the Edomite race, so-called white people, the ones that are actually Edomites, because remember there are Israelites that look like white people, the Israelites that look like all people before the Israelites got scattered to the four corners of the earth, right among all nations, all right. But the actual Edomites, it's not looking good for them. And this is Revelation thirteen nine and ten, and it reads, "If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity." Shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints are faithfully waiting to put to the sword and put into slavery those that put them in slavery. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Wa ababa ba, kwam yasurala shalawam.